Hey gang, I'm back. I'm Terry Simpson with Sports School's short routine, top to bottom. If you've got a limited amount of time, you want to hit all the major muscle groups of the body, this is the way to do it. You can stay in your street clothes, whatever you're in, in your office, at work. You can do this routine with us. Let's go. Grab some hand weights. And here we go. Bring them all the way up overhead. So drop your shoulder blades down. Make sure you have a nice, firm base. Heels are dropping in, abs are tight. Just drop straight down and straight through. Remember, gang, ground down through your body. Really feel the floor. Because remember, the force doesn't come from your hands. It comes from the ground. And you're pushing all the way through the ground up to the fingertips of your hands. Press. Mm. Chest is elevated. Chest is lifted. You're working the upper portion of your chest as well as your anterior medial delts. Up and through. Up. Just as a mental note, it's good to do, start off with about 15 to 20 reps each exercise that I do. If you want to do more, do it. You do increase weight, do that as well. Grow with the program. You can customize it however you need. If you feel a little tired, not really sure of a position, hit pause. Use that video on demand feature and then join right back in with us. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold all the way up, turn your hands, then bring them right back over your head, keeping your elbows in and together. Now we're gonna work the triceps as well as parts of the shoulder, but drop those shoulder blades down, keep that spine nice and long. One of the biggest things I always hear is like, oh, I just don't have enough time to work out. And we're doing it for you. And whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Take that chance, make the opportunity happen. Ugh. Ugh. Here we go, 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, oh yeah, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, woo, 2, bring them all the way down and then supinate your hands, turn your palms up, now you're going to focus on your chest as well as your anterior delts again, you're going to press them straight up and through but open them out to the sides, so what about a Oh, about a foot between the weight and your hips so that you're squeezing into the inside of your body. So coming up and through. So you're making your chest squeeze up and into the middle and your hands go right that midline. Up and through. Keep that chest elevated. Oh yeah. Squeezing all the way up and all the way down. Mm. Working your chest. Uh. The more it's elevated, the more it works. Watch that posture and watch your breath. Make sure you're breathing. Very important. Give me eight, seven, oh, six, five, four, three, two. It's all coming from the chest. And bring them all the way halfway down. Excuse me, all the way down. Turn your hands, bicep curls. Bring them straight up and then all the way down. Keeping the length in the muscle as well. Remember, gang. You don't want short, followed up muscles. You want nice, long, lean ones. So bring up and through. Chest is up, shoulder blades are down and back. You're still pushing through the ground, making all the work happen. And have fun with this. Feel the muscles contracting. I don't care what your arms look like. There is a muscle under there. Use it. Make it burn with you. It'll help you burn those calories and residually, you'll find you will be in shape faster by doing a muscle routine as well as a cardiovascular routine. Mm. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it halfway. Elbows are right by your side, but not buried into your side. There's slightly a little bit of distance in there. Rotate out and in. To the middle of your spine, the back of your shoulders, hitting the back side now. Remember those reps. If you're just starting off, just a beginner, you don't have weights, it's totally fine. What you want to do is do about 15 to 20 repetitions of everything that we do. If it gets to be too much, pause for a moment and then come back in and join us. If this is too easy, you get through 15 reps and saying, oh, I can do more, do them. Do 20, do 25. If you need to wait for us or we need to wait for you, use that feature. Customize your workout. Give me five more. Five, four, three, two, Hold, now you're gonna take your elbows behind your body and just squeeze them in, in through your backside. Squeezing through your shoulders, uh, through the middle of your back, uh, rhomboids and mid trapezius. 20, 19, oh, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 
13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, squeeze your back, 6, 5, 4, 3, and relax. Let the hands hang down in front of you, widen those feet out. Turn them out to about a 45 degree angle and you're going to press through your heels, dropping into a squat. So you press straight down, straight up. Lifting that chest, elevate in the middle of your body. Lift your chest up, chins up, and you want to sit back in that imaginary chair. Or if you're in your office, set that chair right behind you. Not so you can sit into it, but just so you touch it with the bottom of your rump. Perfect. Uh. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, hold all the way down, hold. Ground yourself into that floor. Make sure you're pushing through your heels. Your knees are staying behind those toes. Hips are strong, your abdominals are really strong. Small pulse straight down 15 times. Go, one, two. Working the quadriceps, hamstrings, the glutes especially, your butt muscles. Oh, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and hold right here. Gently bring yourself up. Stand up, both feet come together. Hold the weights in the one hand. You're gonna have this as a balance point. Balance on the left foot. So the weights are in the left hand, and you're balanced on the left foot. You're open and closed to the right. Try to hold your body as still as possible, firing your core. Staying strong to the core, which is where all the body comes from, all the work of the body comes from. Right. The strongest part of your body is not here. It's not here, it's in here. If you can connect to the core, you will find, you will see the results, you'll be the better athlete that you want to be. It'll just make the biggest difference in every routine that you take. Fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, let that foot come down, switch sides, switch hands with the weight. Again, the right side is here, right side stays on this side. Turn that toe in slightly and lift up to the outer hip on the left side. Of course, gang, you can always do more repetitions than I'm doing. If you find that I stop before you're ready to, hit that pause button, keep going. You know the position, you can watch it, you can see the ending and the starting position. Keep going, get in 10 more reps, 15 more reps, 20 more reps. When you get done with your routine, come back, Hit the pause button again, take me back into play. Let me join your routine. You need to add a little weight to it. Grab one weight, place it on that outer, outer, outer thigh. Oh my. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and. From here, take your right foot and lunge all the way back behind you. Drop both weights right down by the side. I'm just added a little weight to your body weight. That's it. All we need to train the body is gravity. That's all we need. So press straight down and straight through. You've seen Michelangelo's statue of David. He's got ripped abs, great shoulders, beautiful pecs, triceps, the whole deal. He never used a Nautilus machine in his life. Never even heard of it, never saw it. He used gravity. The Greek athletes, same idea. Good stones, boulders, whatever they had nearby, they used them. But all you need is gravity and the will to use it. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, the hamstrings and your glutes, also through the quadriceps on the other side. Hold down, hold just for a moment. Why? Because you can. Step up and through, other foot goes back, move it right on through. Remember, you're bending through that back knee, pushing through that front heel. Make sure that knee stays behind that toe. If anytime you need to take a break, pause it. Catch up to us. Yep, squeezing right through that glute, through those hamstrings. Chest stays up, shoulder blades stay back. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, ow, 4, 3, 2, one last part, one last piece. Take both weights, place them on top of your shoulders. If you don't have weights, you don't really need them, it's okay. Put a slight bend in your knees and make sure your feet are about three inches apart 
and they're parallel to each other. Bring yourself up onto your toes and find a balance point. Balance is so important in everything we do. Even when we're sitting at our desk, try to find that balance with your hips. Are you leaning onto one side or another? Are you breathing properly? Find that balance. It's the same thing with your feet here. Lifting up through your calves, hit the lower portion of the legs. This is gonna be the last thing we do. So lift straight up and straight down. So we started with the top, shoulders, biceps, triceps, went to chest, middle back, to the lats, rhomboids, went down to the butt, the quadriceps, the hamstrings. Now we're on our calves, in front of our legs, as well as up into our ankles. So keep lifting. So for calves, they can take a lot of work. You can actually do more reps, somewhere between 30 and 50. Right here, we're gonna do 25 to finish. Go a little bit quicker, lifting through those heels. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, oh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, four, three, two, step yourself all the way down, set those weights to the ground, take a nice deep breath in, exhale it all the way out, it's a short routine, hitting all the major muscle groups of the body, if you want to add to it, look at the other short programs that we have, check out the Ultimate Workout Series, whatever you want to do, you can customize your workout to fit your lifestyle. We'll see you again on Sports School.